Dear friends, at this 145th International Convention of the Theosophical Society, I am delighted to present the activities of the Theosophical Order of Service in Africa and Europe. H. P. Blavatsky entrusted us with a hugely significant message when she said, to live to benefit mankind is the first step. And this was reflected in Annie Besant's decision to found the Theosophical Order of Service in February 1908, after a few months uh, from her election as International President of the Theosophical Society. The Theosophical Order of Service, or TOS as I will refer to it from now on, was created in response to the wishes of many members to put into practice Theosophical principles, and in particular the first object, that is, to form a nucleus of the Universal Brotherhood of Humanity without distinction of race, creed, sex, caste and colour. Ever since, Theosophists have honoured Annie Besant's pledge to form a union of those who love in the service of all that suffer, with a wide variety of initiatives and projects, both locally and on an international scale. Today, we would like to share with you an overview of the marvellous service work that is done in many different countries in Europe and Africa, and we hope that the infectious enthusiasm seen in these projects will inspire those of you who are not yet part of it. TOS Belgium organizes monthly healing services for members only in Antwerp and Brussels. Due to the coronavirus pandemic, not all the meditations are done in lodge premises. Some are held online. From April on, this work is done weekly in support of the world needs, always respecting the social distancing and other government guidelines. TOS Belgium is present at each national activity of the Belgium Theosophical Society, selling books and other items to collect money for its initiatives. Some members do private activities such as visiting elderly people, supporting children in schools, helping in a soup kitchen for the homeless, volunteering in non-governmental environmental organizations, and so on. TOS England has shipped over 27,000 teddies overseas, thanks to the generosity of two charities, International Aid Trust, and furniture for education worldwide, who convey the teddies free of charge. In addition, TOS England has collected computers, printers, projectors, gardening implements, tools, sewing machines, and so on, all of which have been sent overseas by furniture for education worldwide. This has continued, although limited, because of the pandemic restrictions. Some members raised funds for the food bank and these resulted in parcels of foods distributed to poor families in the Philippines. Pam Evans, TOS member and president of Swansea Theosophical Society and founder of Peace Mala Project, was awarded an MBE by the Queen in 2019 for her valuable work for interfaith relations through her Peace Mala project. This multi award winning project began in 2001 when Pam Evans was working as head of the Department of Religious Studies in Coegi School, Wales, UK 
because the minority of Muslim and Asian pupils in her school suffered bullying in the aftermath of 9-11. She thought of something simple but effective that would engage the minds of young people. A symbolic bracelet whose message is uh, treat others as you would wish them to treat you. Wonderful, isn't it? The TOS England donates annually to charities in Adia, Dr. Bezan Memorial Annual Dispensary, Alcott Memorial School, Women's Vocational Training Center, Free Dispensary, and also to TOS Chennai Region's Seeing Eyes for Everyone project and to Pakistan TOS Home Schools. TOS in Finland supports the children of the Social Welfare Center in Adia that you can see here with their brand new toys and stationery. Another project that Finland follows is the HBB Hostel for Boys, where they give also special help when needed. They have as well aided the three young boys to attend the vocational training center in Adia. In order to finance their projects, they raise funds through rummage sales, concerts and Christmas bazaars. For the same purpose, Nonna Nina Maki, the current coordinator of TOS Finland, wrote and illustrated a children's book. TOS France supports a dozen humanitarian service projects in France and abroad, including a retirement home for childless abandoned widows in Chennai, India, the preservation of Tibetan culture and spirituality at an educational institute in Dharamsala, and schools in a Kolkata slum in India and in a suburb of Kinshasa, Democratic Republic of Congo. The principal beneficiaries of TOS France remain the Alcott Education Society in Adyar, the Besant Memorial Animal Dispensary in Adyar too, and the Golden Link College in Manila. French TOS members enjoy knitting cute teddy bears for the international project Teddies for Tragedies. They also participate in activities protesting against animal exploitation, the destruction of the environment, nuclear arms and power, and so on. During the recent pandemic lockdown period, members contributed in many ways sewing face masks, helping to organize food banks, and collecting clothes to, for distribution to the unemployed. TOS Hungary, that last October celebrated its 10th anniversary, further extended the previously established good relationships with the Warm Heart Association of Tapiobishke village and also began to cooperate with the Gypsy Community Council in Fulo Kirk's village. TOS members, and here you can see some of them, are very active in collecting various items for donations and other purposes. They have been able to load several trucks with clothes, home appliances, utensils and furniture for several villages. Before Santa Claus and Christmas, donations, presents, sweets and non-perishable food were distributed to mostly gypsy disadvantaged families in various villages. And 177 teddy bears 
handmade by members of TOS France, were distributed to children on the same occasion, along with many plush toys collected by Hungary TOS members. But many other are their initiatives. Donation of food, firewood and petrol, stationery for the schools, support of the Adopt a Nursery School movement, help of those in need, and last but not least, weekly sessions of the virtual healing group for the eighth consecutive year. TOS in Kenya supports boys with Duchenne muscular dystrophy, DMD, that is a genetic disorder characterized by progressive muscle degeneration and weakness. DMD boys often come from the poorest areas of the community. This disease does not affect their mental capacity and they can attend school, but without a wheelchair, it becomes almost impossible. That's why the large premises of the TS in Nairobi became the venue for the donation of 11 wheelchairs and some crutches to very needy boys aged eight to 21. The boys and their parents extremely appreciated this important gift that will make a difference in their lives. On the occasion, the chair lady, Mrs. Usha Shah, explained that the Theosophical Society tries to be of help for the Kenyan society wherever possible. TOS Portugal is involved in various initiatives, such as the support of Focinhos e Bigodges Association that takes in dogs and prepares them for responsible adoption. And here we have Lottie. Look, look at it, such a cute dog. Many members do an important, even though anonymous, volunteer work supporting elders or helping people with healing services. Others have adopted animals, but all contribute with donations for the associations they support. One of the brothers volunteers as advisor in the field of nature preservation helping to protect the boga fish that lives only in the Sisimbra area and help to protect the foxes of the Hahabida mountains. Jose Antonio Machado Alves, coordinator of TOS in Portugal, delivers lectures and teaches people how and why to opt for a vegetarian regime, also organizing vegetarian cooking courses. With the unexpected and brutal impact of COVID-19, TOS Spain faced the new and urgent needs of homeless people. The members collected funds to support Adintre Association and local caring organizations in the province of Malaga, south of Spain. Members met also a cry for help from Uganda, where a very strict lockdown made it hard for families to get the most basic food for survival. Spanish TOS contributes on a regular basis to a couple of NGOs dealing with basic educational needs of very young children in some of the poorest areas in Latin America. In summer, TOS members contributed to the works of improvement of a theosophy-oriented kindergarten, a place for infants and toddlers in Malaga. They also supported the Feeding the Hungry project, 
which purpose is to distribute breakfast that in India is the main meal among nearly 9,000 homeless people living in the surroundings of the main temples in Chennai. Birgitta Manners Storhammer, TOS in Sweden coordinator since it started in 1996, informs us that after sponsoring a project in Latvia, supporting orphan children for 20 years, in 2016, TOS Sweden joined Mango House, an English organization which helps Indian children from the slum of the touristic town of Goa. These children, who are of all ages, can now, except in COVID times, attend school or kindergarten and learn to read and write, instead of begging from tourists. They will have a quite different future indeed. Recently, Mango House organization bought a house and renovated it in order to offer different level classes according to the children's age. TOS Tanzania supports over 90 kids from the Chanika orphanage. The members donated four sewing machines to enable the orphans to stitch their own uniforms and to take up tailoring. They also sponsored the new orphanage nursery. TOS Tanzania members also provide equipment and medicines for the Kind Heart Africa Charitable Dispensary. And this is a picture of Brother Arshuk Dubal, a great source of inspiration for all the members. Deepa Kapoor, coordinator of TOS Tanzania, last year had the chance to seek blessings for TOS and the Theosophical Society in East and Central Africa from His Holiness the Dalai Lama in Dharamsala. What an inspiring meeting! TOS Ukraine organizes lectures at the Kyiv City Libraries to acquaint people with the principles of ageless wisdom and of world brotherhood. It does so with the involvement of the best lecturers of the Kyiv Theosophical Society branch. The members also organize cultural programs. Some TOS members regularly participate, together with public activists, in demonstrations against existing fur farms and the opening of new ones. Every three months, meetings and speeches are organized at the Regional Center for Mother and Child in Kirovograd. Here, the mothers are also supported in discovering their potential life opportunities in order to better know themselves through their weak points and strengths. This is always a warm and festive event. Three healing groups work weekly and the members from Kyiv, Dnipro, Tsitomir and Kharkiv were able to meet virtually even during the pandemic quarantine period. Since 2013, TOS Italy supports the Syrian refugees in the camp of Bab al Salam. Here, Dr. Ali Nasser, a refugee himself, opened a pediatric clinic fully funded by TOS Italy. 
Italy also provides for other essential goods for the camp, such as food, firewood, kerosene, clothes, and so on. Another relevant project of TOS Italy is dedicated to a small community of gypsies living in Vicenza province, where donations of food, clothes, kitchen utensils, baby accessories and gifts for special occasions are collected and distributed. As a result of the COVID-19 pandemic, Food packages were given to families in need in various parts of Italy, thanks to the generosity of members and sympathizers. Italy also sponsors a number of TOS international projects. The Alcott Memorial Higher Secondary School in Adia, Chennai, which provides free education for underprivileged children, the Social Welfare Center in Adia, Chennai, which provides free day care to underprivileged children in the age group of three, five. The Training Vocational Center in Adia, Chennai, which provides a year long free diploma course to women so they can acquire skills in weaving, tailoring, embroidering, and so on, and find jobs or become self employed the Candle Literacy Home Schools in marginalized slum areas in different parts of Karachi, Pakistan, where basic education is provided to boys and girls. The Women Empowerment Project in Odisha, a program with, which offers several avenues of training for women to improve their lives and uh, the Little Flower Convent Higher Secondary School for the Blind and Deaf in Chennai, India, which hosts 800 impaired children. And it doesn't ask those who followed her to help her to make the world beautiful for others. Being part of TOS is a honor and a privilege. It means that we want to make a difference in an indifferent world, be a resource in the lives of others, make compassion the cornerstone of our life, and live in harmony with the universe. I am always very happy to talk about its activities because the work of TOS shows that, uh, yes, we care.